Prime Television. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for honoring another rendezvous for Prime Flash with me, Audrey Zatsa. Inhabitants of uh, Menka Street 2 are still in shock following the murder of a woman in the neighborhood. According to reports, a man in his 30s allegedly butchered his aunt to death after a dispute. The incident occurred at Menka Street 2, Mile 5 in Quen in Bamenda 3 subdivision yesterday, August 30. Sources close to the family say the man was repatriated from Dubai, after which he returned and was living with his aunt in Bamenda before murdering her after an, an argument. The young man was seized by the angry mob and beaten to near death before the intervention of police forces. Reverend Father Julius Agbo Toko Agbo, Vicar General at the Manfi Diocese, has been abducted, according to the communique published by the Chancellor of the Manfi Diocese, Father Sebastian Sinju. The priest was taken Sunday, August 29, by, by alleged separatist fighters after he took part in a ceremony to inaugurate the Coco Boom Presbytery of the parish. The said kidnappers are demanding the sum of 20 million francs CFA for his release. Some, some Catholic Christians of the St. Philip's and Jack Parish Church in Donko Mbalmayo have staged a protest against uh, the arrival of a new priest rejecting the, the suspension of uh, Father Cyprien Amugu from his duties. Eileen Sama tells us more in the following report. <laughs> Christians of St. Philip and Jacques Catholic Mission Ndoko Mbal Mayo in the center region turned out Indian numbers with placards frowning and disgruntled blocking the roads to prevent the new priests from getting into their parish to take over from Reverend Father Cyprian Amugwe, whom according to the faithfuls did the right thing. As the story goes, the priest used a kokoyam stem to hit on the accused in public, casting out the witchcraft. However, the bishop of Mbalmayo, his lordship, Joseph Marindi Okala, reacting to the incident, said a priest is not supposed to exert such behaviors according to the church's principles and code of ethics guiding the priesthood. Thus quickly suspended him and replaced him with another priest whom unfortunately was blocked by the people from entering the locality in his car as they kept chanting, saying they don't want him, but Father Cyprian Amoguit. Reports say a group of elderly people in that locality have been excluded from the community, accused of witchcraft by the priest. The old man who was beaten by the priest said he was brought to the Catholic hospital in Donkombal Mayo by his son after falling sick and after his consultation went to visit the parish. On his way back, the priest asked him to follow him and suddenly started beating him with a cocoyam stem. The video which was filmed later on went viral on the social media causing a scandal involving the church. Thus. The suspension of the priest, who was then relocated to a nearby seminary by his lordship, Joseph Marie D. Okala. A house helper with uh, the Cameroonian nationality is said to have made away with the sum of 600 million francs CFA from Felici C. Ngaito Zam's home ambassador of Cameroon in Gabon before vanishing into thin air. According to Gabonese media, the, the money in question was found in several uh, bags uh, stored in the diplomat's room. Only the standards of the alleged thief were found in the courtyard of the ambassador's home. The Gabonese National Gendarmerie and police forces have been put on the case to shed light in on the matter. Frankie's Citizen Movement for Peace and Unity of Cameroon held an extraordinary general assembly over the weekend in Douala. An extraordinary general assembly held to modify the status of, um, of the movement like registration of uh, members and more. Details with Lasha Kingsley. The Extraordinary General Assembly of the Frankist Citizen Movement for Peace and Unity of Cameroon, which held in Douala over the weekend, brought together supporters of Frank Emmanuel Olivier Biya. 
The objective of the meeting was to modify the status of the movement, notably registration of members and composition of the Biru, as explained by the first vice national coordinator. This is an extraordinary general assembly to see into the modifications of our status. There are certain points that we are touching at the moment, like registration and the composition of uh, the bureau, which are very important for this movement. Uh, we are going to do some seminars and workshops in all the regions to, in order to bring up the level of understanding of this movement at the same level that the bureau has. Because common members, people who um, we meet in the streets, in the villages, they don't really know the detailed objectives and the strategies of this movement. The objective of the movement is to drum support for Frank Emmanuel Olivier Bia into the Supreme Magistracy of Cameroon come 2025. The objective of this movement is simple and straightforward to drum support for our champion, Frank Emmanuel Olivier Bia, into the supreme magistracy of this country come 2025 only if i repeat only if the president of the republic his excellency president paul bia will not be going in again that is the sole objective of this movement though not into active politics a cross-section of cameroonians believe as a young man he can deliver a belief pundits do not share as they say though it is his constitutional rights to run for the highest office the country as at now is too politically hostile for him to rule the chief of uh, Kumba and param paramount ruler of the Bafos, Fon Mukete Ikoko, has donated school items to kids in Kumba for their back to school preparations. Uh, this was over the weekend at the Fon's Palace in Kumba, Tamfu Sidwan, with details. Over 1,000 children drawn from homes in Kumba have benefited from the benevolence initiative of the chief of Kumba and paramount ruler of the Bafos, His Royal Majesty, from Mukete de Fort Ekoko, who in the second edition of the Back to School at the Kumba Fonds Palace distributed school materials to pupils and students to better prepare for the 2021-2022 academic year. The chief modified the activity this year by including all children living in Kumba, unlike last year where the initiative was only benefited by Bafo children. Last year it was just for Bafo children, uh, but this year we opened it up for all children in, in Kumba. And uh, we felt, of course, we should, the palace should not only take care of the Bafo people, but everyone in Kumba under my jurisdiction. Books, school bags, rulers, pens, and all other school items were distributed to the kids by their chief. He encouraged children to go back to school. I personally felt uh, I should take a lead, we should take a lead in making sure children go back to school. Education comes as a priority. Uh, without knowledge, uh, then you, something would have been stolen, uh, which is so important for you. And this is why we, we decided that we make this a priority. Back to school support for children. The recipients are optimistic about the school year and thank the chief of Kumba for reaching out to them. The ceremony was also witnessed by the former mayor of Kumba, Prince Ekale Mukete, who reacted positively to the gesture and praised the Informs Palace continue to shed light on the people of Kumba. It's so very positive, very, very, very positive. In fact, that's why I made sure that this second edition because I remember it's the second edition yes. uh, that I should be present. As usual, some before elite and the traditional council assisted in the distribution exercise. His Royal Majesty from Mukete de Fort Ekoko has encouraged parents and teachers to assist children embark on their academic activities. St. Louis Institute Douala has graduated its first batch of medical and agricultural students. The graduation ceremony was attended by parents, religious, health and education, uh, and local administrative authorities. Lasha Kingsley once again. The 
These are medical and agricultural students of St. Louis University Institute Douala taking oath to uphold the ethics and deontology of their profession. They made this solemn promise over the weekend at the Douala campus during a ceremony which was attended by parents, religious, education, health and local administrative authorities. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, it's our, it's that, it's, this, this is a great day for St. Louis in, in our lives in the sense that we have been in Douala for three years coming from Bamenda and today we are graduating our first set of students. Uh, for the HND course and then those that have been training for three years at the bachelor's level. You know, since 2016 we have not had any graduations because of the problems that you know in Bamenda and uh, even here we have some students who, who, who left school uh, in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Those of them who can come and join us here, they have come for this graduation. Hopefully, as we continue next next year, others will come and join. But it was a kind of like a symbolic graduation, a thank you graduation. And students and parents are excited about this because they want to be be, 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 be to showcase and be happy about what they have been doing. So we just want to thank everybody who has made it possible. Thank especially the government for giving us the authorizations. Thank, thank the parents for supporting their students and thank the students for burning the midnight candles to be who they are. To this best graduating student, St. Louis Douala is the citadel of bilingualism and character formation. appreciate this uh, institute because it really helped me to improve my knowledge and my way of thinking. Once you enter here at Saint, once I enter here at Saint Louis, like I, at Saint Louis University, I've really found a very big difference from my former school. That is the way of the way of doing the policy that they put in place. They really implement it in order to improve the the education of the student, in order to improve their character, and also in order to improve their behavior and also improve their knowledge. It, by doing that, it helps students to gain more skill, more technical skills, that is even at a job site, wherever they go, they, they have been that they mark that they are coming from a particular place called St. Louis. While thanking the management of St. Louis University Institute for being supportive in her quest for knowledge acquisition, this best graduating student at the HND level believes her success will serve as a source of inspiration for other girls in her community. Today is a very exciting day, it's a very particular day. We are here today and we have succeeded uh, with all that we needed, with all that we planned. It was a, a three beautiful years coming to St. Louis. St. Louis have really taught us so many things. They made us improve our skills. So I'm so thankful to St. Louis administration, especially to the CEO and uh, Madam Wayam for encouraging us, for encouraging me especially, for pushing me to come this far. And I hope that they will keep pushing us this way to do more and that they will keep doing the good job that they are doing right now so that they will help students and they will help uh, more generations to come and they will help other community like my community, they will boost us. They will, I hope that my being here and my success today will help my fellow sisters and my fellow brothers to see the importance of education and then uh, and then will help them to also want to further their education for a better future. Reputed for training mid-level health personnel in Cameroon like nurses, pharmacy technicians, dental technicians, physiotherapy technicians, medical laboratory technicians, just to name but these few. The School of Engineering trains agricultural, electrical, and ICT technicians. Students with an arts background can study agriculture, nursing, and midwifery at St. Louis University Institute. The institution has campuses located in Simbok, Yawundi, Bonaberi, and Bonamusadi in Douala, Maithri in Kwen in Bamenda, and Ndu.
Out of the country in Zambia, the new president, Akainde Ichilema, has replaced the country's top military commanders, the head of the police, and signaled a focus on the security forces being uh, more accountable to the citizens. The president recently announced new commanders of the Zambian Army, the Air Force, and the, the, Air Force, the National Service, and their deputies, as well as a new inspector general of police. All regional police commissioners have been relieved of of their duties, but their replacements have not been named. According to the Zambian president, the new office bearers must have the interest of the people at heart and serve the country diligently while ensuring human rights, freedom, and liberty. Mr. Hichilema, was, uh, who was voted in as president earlier this month in a landslide victory, has been the victim of police brutality in the past. We talk COVID-19, 10 million doses of uh, COVID-19 vaccines will be sent uh, to Africa over the next uh, three months by France. This is a statement made by French presidency yesterday, August 30. The vaccines will be allocated and distributed through the African Union's Vaccine Acquisition Trust and COVAX. AVAT, which is uh, the African Union's Vaccine Acquisition Trust, is a means of enabling group purchases of uh, vaccines by Africa Union's members to help them meet at least 50% of their needs. At uh, the conference in Berlin last week, African leaders renewed calls for vaccine equity. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa said it was unfair that uh, richer countries had vaccinated nearly their entire adult populations while poorer countries struggled to buy vaccines. So far, Egypt and South Africa have begun local production of Sinovac and J&J &J vaccines respectively. And that was it for today's edition of Prime Flash. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. You get details in our 6.30 p.m. Prime News with Fon Quinta. Meanwhile, stay blessed in the company of programs on the African Eye. Bye. African music is the best in the world nowadays because of its diversity coming from every side of Africa. From Senegal to Tanzania, from Uganda to Ivory.